All right, so this is an installation video for Larkin StarCam and Star CNC. So I'm going to bring up the browser and we're going to go to LarkinCNC.com, L A R K E N C N C.com, and download the software. So I'm going to go to Tech Support. And on the Tech Support page, StarCam and Star CNC upgrades, okay, and, and programs. So <clears throat> we're going to download the StarCam. Okay, and it's downloading, and it's going to go into the download folder usually. Okay, we're going to download the Star CNC USB. Now, the Star CNC is the front end controller program that talks to the control box. All right, we're going to download the StarCam tutorial. Any of these, uh, well, all of these three, if you want. Anyway, StarCam tutorial is a manual. Well, actually. I don't want it to load. I want to, so I, w I want to download it. So I will right click on it and go save link as since it's a PDF file and I'll just save it. So it's, sa it's saving the manual, the PDF manual, so you can have it on your computer and look at it. All right. So now that we've downloaded the programs, there's also a USB installation manual you can download or look at on screen too. And here, here's the USB. It's uh, to load the software and set, get it connected with the USB port, setting, setting it up. But we're going to do that in this video. Okay. So we're going to go to Windows Explorer. Go to Downloads. Change the view here to details and like that. Here they are here, StarCam, StarCam, and Star CNC. Now we go we're gonna open another window. Ooh, how do you do that? Okay, I'm just gonna use my computer to get another window going here. Okay, and we want to put the program on the C drive, okay? Not on the desktop, but right on the C drive, the root C drive here. Along on my computer, you have local C disk, uh, local disk C. That's where we want to put it. So you're going to take this. Now, when you do the, you drop anything on, you have to make sure you don't drop it on top of one of these folders. It'll go inside it. You have to drop it at the bottom or drop it right on that icon. So so we go, click on Downloads. We want to find the file we downloaded uh, off my website. So we're going to go Downloads. We're going to scroll the, uh, scroll there. It is there. Stars, Star Cam. You want to double click on it. We want to create a folder here first on the C drive. The Star Cam doesn't come in a in its own folder so we'll create a create Click here, New Folder, and we're going to call the folder StarCam. StarCam. Okay. We're going to double click the so it is there, and then then we're going to drag all these files over into that folder which is on the C drive. All right. So we have the StarCam on the C drive now. The star CNC does come in a folder. The star cam, they were just bare files, but the star CNC, we're going to double click on it, and inside it is a folder with a subfolder. So we're going to drag the star CNC over not there. <laughs> onto, we'll just put it onto there. Okay. Can be a little stubborn sometimes. So we've got the star cam and the star CNC located on the C drive. Okay. Now, inside the star CNC folder is the INF directory and the INF64. Uh, these, this is where the USB Windows finds the USB driver information. Okay. Now that we've loaded the uh, software onto the C drive, we're going to create a couple shortcuts on the desktop. So I'm going to right click on the desktop. I'm going to go New shortcut and I'm going to browse and I'm going to go my computer 
local C drive, scroll down. First we'll do the star cam. And we'll click on the star cam and within it you're going to find the uh, star cam one icon. The yellow little icon there. OK. And then you're going to go next, next. And there is the star cam icon. Okay. We're going to do the same thing for star CNC. Right click, go new, shortcut, browse, go my computer, C drive, star CNC. We're going to find the green icon, the L spooler. I'm going to go OK, next, next. And here are the two programs there. Star CNC and Star Cam, the shortcuts. We will plug in the USB port. All right, so we have a controller here. Now this is the first time I'm going to plug in the USB cable into the controller on the back. The computer makes a, a beep beep. Installing device driver. It rarely gets it right, Windows. Bill Gates is good at making computers talk to uh, cell phones and cameras, not CNC controllers, that seems. He doesn't know they exist. So anyway, it says it's ready. But is it really? Okay. Um, what you can do is to check is right click on my computer to check it's got the right COM port okay go to properties select the device driver and then you're going to go to COM ports now it says USB now if we unplug the cable and we'll do the COM port you see right here it, it it disappeared now if we plug the cable in so we've got one two three things under COM port I'm going to plug the cable in and it's going to read it and there there it just added this one okay I'm going to right click for properties and I'm going to select port settings driver it is uh, it is looks to be the right driver but microchip technology you could do update driver and then it will say browse my computer or search automatically we'll bro we will browse my computer and we will pick exactly where we wanted to find the driver now this is 64-bit windows on this computer or uh, is it 32 or 64 um, I think it's, uh, let me see, my computer. Um, oh boy. Properties. It is 64 bit. Uh, I went to my computer to find out if you're 64 or 32. Right click, go to properties, and it says 64 bit Windows. Okay. So we're, we're looking to find the driver we want to install. So I'm going to go to my computer, go to the C drive. Go to the Star CNC USB, and in 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 the Star CNC USB, the subfolder INF64, and then say OK. You just have to tell it the directory, and you say OK, and I'll go next, and then it, it updated the driver. Close. All right. All right, so we've installed the driver, and we're going to check the program that it could connect. So I'm going to turn the controller on. Okay, so I'm gonna, we're going to run the spooler here. Always ask this before opening. No, take that check mark off and go run. Okay. Now, it was COM4. If we could bring the down arrow here, yeah, well, we're going to check... Well, it's COM4, I'm going to select the Use Last COM port, and then do Connect, USB. Alright, so it connected to the controller, and now it says, please wait, uploading parameters.
through the controller. And you can see the light flicking here. Now that the reason the light is flicking is because there's constant communication between the PC and the controller reading reading coordinates and things because as I scroll, move the machine here you can uh, it's talking that means it's talking to the USB because uh, it flashes the light about every hundred communications or a few hundred communications so it's now connected A few other settings you might want to check are under the setup of the Star CNC, there's a menu called Environment Setup. And um, <clears throat> here the, you set default directories where the uh, Star CNC finds its files. And you can set where you want to normally place your G code files or you want the program to find the G code files. That could be from a CAM program in a, in a, in a output file in a cam, uh, directory in a CAM program so you can browse and pick it. The where you, and then the other one is the star cam uh, where the star CNC is going to link to the star cam and find the spooler file. So it's already set to C colon backslash star cam but we can just do a browse and there's on the C drive we'll just go down and just pick star cam OK. Alright and then go save setup and close and you can set the default in this menu you can set the default uh, place where it wants whether you're running in star cam mode or G code mode all it that means is does it is it is the menu set up to look for a, a G code first or a star cam first okay. I'm gonna do save setup and close